Watch that elevator. Make it snap. You stay here, Jim. Don't move, everybody. Stay right here. All right, come on. All right, all right. Back on it. Back on it. Back on it. Back on it. That's all right. They'll be on in a minute. Well, what's the matter? Where's my money? My money's in number six. All right, folks, it's the pitch. Come on, back on it. Come on, back on it. Come on, back on it. Why did you kill Frank Wilder? When the police broke in, they found you standing with this gun in your hand. What about it? I don't remember. Oh. You don't remember. Strikes me your memory is very bad. But you do know you're Mrs. Miller, don't you? Yes. And you know who I am, don't you? Yes. You're the district attorney. Well, well. You know all this. And yet you don't remember killing Frank Wilder. Now, isn't that strange? Know this man? Do you know this woman? Yes, she's my wife. Perhaps he did the shooting and tossed you the gun, huh? No, he didn't. No, but you did. And it's women of your kind that must be brought to justice. You who thrive in the slime of life, who keep clubs like the one we raided open, to lure your victims out of their doom. Until you climaxed your vile life with the drastic crime of murder, didn't you? I was there. But that woman, Molly Murdoch, is guilty of the most... All right, dear. I'll pick you up in my car. I'll be ready as soon as I can change. Bye-bye. Nice. I wouldn't got the bridge fighting with you. Oh, you're a little too young yet, Carolyn. Well, 
We girls play all the time for a 20th. You do? You shouldn't. I'm ashamed to go out in this dress. I wore it all last year. Well, I thought when girls got married, their husbands always bought them pretty things. Oh, John used to buy me pretty things. But I do without now because I know he needs the extra money for his studies. <laughs> well, I guess I'll have to marry a rich man. <laughs> Maybe you will, Carolyn. But be sure you love him as much as I love John. Come on. Let's go downstairs. All right. Oh, you know, I have to hurry. Mother's coming after me. Just a few minutes. Hello, Carolyn. <laughs> oh, they're grand. Hello, darling. Oh, I'll leave you two lovebirds alone. Uh -huh. I'm lucky. Bye. Bye. Oh, darling, did I have a hard morning. Are you playing bridge again? I am. Do you mind? Of course not. Oh, uh -oh. my flower. You know, I wish I had a new dress to wear today. Mrs. Timmons will have one. Snobbers. Feminine for snob. Ha, ha, ha. been paid for. I'm going to buy you the prettiest outfit in this town. And I'm going to spend every penny I make on you. Oh, yeah. Excuse me, dear. Oh, darn that phone. Uh, hello? Yes, Mrs. Riley? Oh, little Billy is much worse, and I don't know what to do. Uh, can you come over right away? Yes, I'll be right over. That. Oh, I thought you were going to the laboratory this afternoon. Well, so did I, dear, but I can't let little Jimmy Riley down because, you know, he's a pretty sick boy. Well, goodbye, dear. <clears throat> now, have a good time, but don't get in too deep because, you know, our funds are pretty low. I won't. Bye. I would have been better off if I'd never met you and your kind. You filthy operator of a sex exchange. I have to listen to these insults. She knew what she was doing, knew what she was out for all the time. I didn't know until later that you were a paid hireling of Frank Wilder. It's a lie. Go on. It was all innocent fun. That day I went to the garden party. nice things like other women had. I didn't realize that a husband who loved me and a home was worth more than all their money and finery. And John was struggling so hard to provide me with those luxuries I wanted. If I'd only waited. All I hope is that my story will help save other girls from the fool's paradise into which I was lured. Molly was my best friend, or so I thought the day she introduced me at the club. Wait a minute. Come on. 
Look. Look at the floor show. It is nice, isn't it? Oh, it's lovely. We can watch the floor show anytime. All right. Do you know how to play the game? No, I don't. How do you do, Miss Murdoch? Good evening, Mr. Phillips. Uh, Mrs. Miller, Mr. Phillips. How do you do? Welcome to our club, Mrs. Miller. Thank you. Mrs. Miller would like to play, and I told her I thought she would probably cash one of her checks. Oh, I'd be delighted. There you are. Thank you. Either I get an entire new wardrobe or Mrs. Timmons enjoys herself insulting me again next week. Nice woman. I've got a hunch you're running in a streak of luck. Mrs. Timmons will turn green with envy the next time she takes a look at you. I hope so. Oh, I'm not as lucky as you are. You go ahead and play. I'll be right back. Oh, no, no, no. no. Eighteen. What again? A lot of money. Well, this is your last chance. I understand your husband has plenty of good security. Now, you can get them and pay me or take your choice. Do just what I told you about. Take her into Taylor. Come on. You know what to tell him. Say, Lucky, Molly bought in a new friend. Where? Hmm? Which one? The one in the plain dress. At the end of the wheel there. Make it come 28 this time, will you? Mm. Not bad. No. Everything okay? Hey, how about this new dame you just brought in? Oh, she's okay. She's from a good family. Mm. Frenchie? Yeah. See that Molly's friend is well entertained. How about Lucky Byler giving me a little fresh currency for you tonight? Nothing gives me greater pleasure, darling, than to give you money. Thank you. Permit me. Oh, thank you. How's your play tonight? I don't know much about it. I'm afraid I'm a little behind. Oh. Why don't you try to double O? You might hit it. Beginner's luck, you know. Well, where is the double O? Way over there, behind the wheel.
Double O. The bank's closed, huh? I'll say it is. How are you doing? Look, just one on the double O. That's great. Didn't I tell you that you were running in luck? Lucky. I didn't know it, but I couldn't lose. Nobody does the first time they go to one of those gambling clubs. Hmm. Just a babe in arms, eh? Wait a minute. Give her a chance. You're persecuting this girl. Now, you know she's right. That place was crooked. There's clubs like that all over. Man traps, devil's playgrounds, or innocent victims like her. Women are not always to blame for their downfall. It's such as you, and you, who break up homes. Just a moment. We know the kind of woman your wife is. We've been watching her and her kind for weeks. It's an easy life until they get jealous of their man, and then they kill. Well, it was your man, wasn't he? He was not! But you did kill him, didn't you? Perhaps uh, you would like to tell me that this man here did it. That? Million dollar tailor. <laughs> Came between you and the man you loved, didn't he? Yes. I thought so. When did you first meet him? Molly arranged that first meeting. I won $500 the first night I gambled at the club. What'd you do with it? I was a good time, Clara. Molly helped me spend some of the money. I bought some of the pretty things I wanted. And of course, every day Molly telephoned me. She was Wilder's operator, all right. It's a lie. Hello, dear. How's the bottom? Can you go to the wrestling match tonight? Yes. But John can't go. He said for me to go without him. That's fine. I'll pick you up there. Goodbye. She'll go. Good. See that Mrs. Miller sits in seat 18. Oh. Taylor, you put on a million dollar front. Take the seat next to her. And the meeting will appear accidental. Number 33 calling. Just a moment. You're on call tonight at 11.30. Yes? Hello, number 61. Say, what's the idea of not checking? good, huh? What do you think? It ought to be with the list you have and the names you're going to get.
Why not? I enjoy watching these chiropractors. Oh, uh, Mrs. Miller? Mr. Taylor. How do you do, Mrs. Miller? It's all right. Will you hold this a minute, please? I'll pep it up for you a bit. I do that.
Number 14 calling in. Number 14, you can go home now. Okay. Did I awaken you? I just called you to tell you that you made a big hit with Taylor last night. I don't think I'd better go to the club tonight. I haven't much money left. Oh, never mind about that. I have plenty and I'll lend you some. You better follow through your hunch. All right. Be delighted. But do you think it's all right? Why, certainly. When you win, you pay back the club. If you please. Johnson girl getting along. Oh, she is hooked plenty. And uh, Mrs. Miller? Yes. She'll be ahead after she pays his IOUs. <clears throat> Tell Molly to get her out of here. She's one enough for tonight. And send that Johnson girl in here. Okay. So glad, Mrs. Miller. Winners are always good advertisement for my club. Well, pardon me, Miss Murdoch, Mr. Wilder. Miss uh, Murdoch. How do you do? Won't you be seated with me? Please. Do you know what it's like to be poor? To struggle? Well, I do. And suddenly have $5,000 tossed in your lap. How was I to know I was just a dupe? But it was a game to leave me on. I bought everything I wanted, even a motor car. How did you explain your sudden rise to riches to your husband? I lied to him. I told him Molly had inherited some money and she gave the things to me. Do you mean to tell me that your husband believed that fishy story? Why shouldn't I believe it? I was happy to know that she had the luxuries that I couldn't give her. Luxuries? I soon learned that expensive clothes required expensive living. I had a front to keep up. My easy money melted away. There was only one place I could get more, at the gambling club. 
Encouraged by Molly, I plunged. Then one night... Six on the black. Nineteen. Thirteen on the left. Give me a drink. Give me an IOU. You wanted to see me? Yes, Miss Miller. Sit down, won't you? I didn't know until just now that the club had extended you so large a credit. How much do I owe? Ten thousand, three hundred dollars. Ten thousand dollars? Of course, you can give me a check now or raise to pay it tomorrow. Then your credit will be extended again. I can't pay that much. You can't? How's that? I haven't any money. You haven't any money? What do you mean you haven't any money? When you won, I paid and you spent it. Now I expect you to pay me. Ten thousand dollars? You can get it from your husband. Oh, no, I couldn't do that. Well, if you can't, I can. Oh, no, you mustn't do that. He doesn't know I've been gambling here at the club. He's trying so hard to succeed. It would ruin him. Your personal troubles don't interest me a bit. I want my money and I want it now. And you're going to pay. I can't. I can't. You will. Taylor, he's wild about you. Why don't you let him take you out? I think if you treat him nice, he'd lend you plenty of money. I couldn't do that. Why not? Taylor's on the level. If he likes a girl, there's nothing he wouldn't do for her. You know, kind of play around with him. Your husband's away from town so much, he wouldn't know the difference. Oh, no. Well, as you like. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll talk to Wilder and see if he won't be a little easy with you. Put on the heat. Okay. Well, I can't do a thing with Wilder. He's sore. He's mad because you spent the money you won. 
that he is definitely going to call your husband up in the morning. No! He mustn't do that. Well, you better think that little Taylor matter over. You know, he's a big shot. He wouldn't let Wilder do anything like that. How about it? Put the pressure on her in the morning. You didn't mar your fatal beauty in that accident you had. Lucky? I've heard that word before. Don't ever pin your faith on luck. It's dangerous. Oh, you just feel like that because you've been in a wreck. Wreck is right. Honey, I saw that car. You'll never drive it again. I don't want to. I'm through with expensive cars forever. Well, I'm not. I can't wait till I get my hands on one. Carolyn, sometimes your ideas frighten me. Don't ever put money ahead of happiness. Oh, baloney. You have money and you've been having a swell time. Yes, but what a price I'm paying. Oh, what do you mean, price? Oh, nothing. I guess I'm just upset. Well, honey, you can't upset me. Because I am going out dancing this evening and I don't mean maybe. Oh, darling, please be careful, won't you? Well, sure. All right. Goodbye, honey. Bye. Well, it's about time Dr. Miller's home. What's his number? Normandy, 9164. Oh, hello, dear. I just saw Carolyn outside. My, she's full of pet today. Well, how are you? Oh, I'm fine. John, I'm so sorry about that accident. So am I, dear. I was just talking to the fellow whose car you damaged. He wants an awful lot of money, dear. What do we do? Well, there's nothing we can do except to, to pay it. But don't you worry a bit, dear. I'll find some way to do it. Oh, uh, I'll answer it. Dr. Miller's residence. I want to speak to Dr. Miller. Dr. Miller? Yes. Come on here, please. Dr. Miller is not in. Hey, don't hand me that. I happen to know he is there. Call him through the phone. Oh, please. I can't do that. Thank you. Give me just a little time. Listen, you've had too much time already. You get me some money right now, or I'll be over there in ten minutes to see your husband. Wait an hour till I call up Molly. She told me where I could get some money. Call me back and let me know what you're going to do. Call her up now before she changes her mind. Yes to Mrs. Miller? Yes, sir. Here's to Mrs. Miller. Dr. Miller's residence. Oh, Molly. I'm so glad you called to you. Yes. Uh-huh. Yes. Yes, you arrange it. Darling, I've had great news. Yes, you can use my apartment, but don't leave it messed up like you did the last time. I had to leave it twice before I could believe it. Well, what is it? I'm going to Chicago, dear. I have a chance to demonstrate my new technique for brain surgery before Dr. Reed's clinic. Oh, I'm so glad. Oh, dear. Oh, oh darling. Me. I want so much to get away from here. Oh, but dear, I can't take you with me. Oh, we can't afford it. It's going to take every penny in the world I can rake up just to get there. Oh, 
John. Oh, please now, don't be disappointed. It won't be long now before I have a great practice. And then, darling, we're going to celebrate. Come on, cheer up. Help me, Jack, come on. me to invest in a refrigerating plant, but I wasn't interested. Hello, Ms. Miller. Come in. I've come to pay you back a thousand dollars I owe you. Oh, that's good. Just a minute. You still owe me around $9,000. Can you pay that? No, I can't. Well, there's something else I want you to do. What? You're going out on call. What's that? You stay at home tonight until you receive a phone message telling you where to go. I have an out-of-town friend who wants to go places. You can leave somebody else to do your dirty work. Oh, is that so? Well, it just happens that Million Dollar Taylor is a personal friend of mine. You wouldn't want your husband to know about last night's escapade, would you? 
From now on, you take orders from Molly. She'll tell you what to do. Oh, believe me, John. I hated those telephone calls. I realized I should have known what the result would be. I wanted to tell you, but I couldn't see you hurt. I was afraid it would ruin your career. Oh, I'm not offering excuses. But I was confused. I didn't know what to do. That's why I went away. I couldn't bear to see you hurt. <laughs> I believe you, dear. A condition like this is disgraceful. You and the police have the power to wipe this condition out of existence forever. That's just what we're doing. The raid in which we caught your wife is only the beginning. And I'm going to help you. When I returned home, I found my wife gone. Carolyn and I searched for her everywhere. Even the slums. Recognize the girl, that's all. You don't mind that, do you, honey? Huh? Yeah, you out of sport? Oh, a bottle of tonic. Thank you so much. Watch out, boy. Don't get drunk. Oh, I won't. Hello. Oh, hello. How are you? You look wonderful. Oh, no. I'll be a band dancer out there in the floor show. I'm a band dancer band, you know. Oh, really? Like band Yes, don't do that. I had measles when I was three years old. Careful. No, that isn't nice either. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Mmm, that's a pretty hat. Oh, yeah, it is a pretty good hat. $1.88. Oh, Siri, you don't do that. What's the matter with you? There's trouble with these girls. They're all too fresh. Oh, I want to see how I look in it. Well, how do I look? Well, you look all uh, right. Do you like the hat? Uh -huh. uh, well, uh -huh. you give me your address, and I get home, I'll send you a couple. I have a couple old ones up in the attic. Oh, well. Yeah, geez, don't do that. Say, that's my... You better give me that. Huh? Hey, wait a minute. Hello, young fella. Hello. 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 How are you going? Oh, no. Oh, well, there you go. Oh, he's mine. Well, I came in here. I lost something. In the... Oh, it's my hat. Oh, that's lucky I found you've lost. Well, I'll leave it. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, I want to go home. Hey, that's my hat. You can have it. Oh, nice little hat. Hey, listen, Jimmy. Come on. Don't pull it out. No, no. Come on. Come on. Drink? <laughs> I can tell if you can. Did he bring it here? Oh, no. Oh, he did not try me. Oh, no. You know it. Oh, you know it.
Have a drink, pal. Knife fighter, huh? Get him out quick. Come on. Let me look at him. I'm a doctor. Come on, get him. I'll be back in a minute. I get it. Mind if I act as your protector until your friend returns? <laughs> Quite a fight, wasn't it? Why, yes, it, it was. Do you think he was hurt much? No. He's too tough. Well, it, it was exciting, wasn't it? <laughs> Do you like excitement? Why, Doris. You'll be my guest some night at my club. You'll get some real excitement. Oh, I'd love to. You would? Well, it's all right, boys. Don't worry, he'll be all right. Thank you very much, Tom. <laughs>
pride myself on having one of the best floor shows in town. Oh, it's lovely. Come on with me. There are other exciting things to see. Oh, well. Besides, if I lose, it only proves the place is honest. Here, try again. Buy some chips. All right. idea of not paying off last week. Don't you want my protection? But, boss, when I gave you the warning for the last raid, I thought that would straighten everything out. Mm -hmm. I got to pay? Where did you get her? having a fight with her man. Oh. Poor thing. Sit down, darling. Nick is bringing us something special to eat. Oh, goody. I tried to warn Carolyn, but I couldn't find her. I was desperate. I couldn't get near the gambling club without being arrested. Well, to put one of his gunmen on my trail. Then, from one of the girls, I learned a terrible thing had happened to Carolyn. She was in a hospital. Oh, Doctor, that girl Mary Smith in 22. They brought her in last night. Something must be done. That's pretty bad. Any doctor who would stoop to a thing like this is a disgrace to his profession. Why don't you go in and see her, Doctor? Yeah, I think I will. Why didn't you tell me? I, I couldn't. I was so ashamed. Carolyn, tell me. Oh, 
tell me. Can I help you? Yes. I'm looking for room 22. Down the hall and to the left. Thank you. Yes, darling. Carolyn. Carolyn. Did you tell John? Carolyn. Carolyn, you must tell me. Carolyn. Tell me. I know. Carolyn! Don't die! Carolyn, you can't die! Carolyn, don't leave me! Carolyn, it was my fault. That's what I'm telling you. The police are on their way now. They're going to raid every room in your place. Thanks. I'll fix that. You crazy? Put on that gun. Don't be a fool. Put on that gun. I 
I wish I could have done it a hundred times. He gambled with hope. He killed my sister. He deserved to be killed. My wife has been dragged through a mire of filth. She has laid bare her soul. She's accused of taking a human life when all she did was to exterminate a vile creature who was a menace to society. Surely she suffered enough. There's nothing I can do. Yes, there is. You can give me back my wife. I'm sorry. But that will have to be decided by a judge and jury. <laughs>